If you're having trouble using your Apple Watch to unlock your iPhone while wearing a mask, here are a few ways to potentially fix that issue. We did an entire video on how this feature actually works, and so if you need a refresher on everything, be sure to click the card in the upper right corner. But for those of you who need a quick reminder on how to enable it, simply head into Settings, Face ID, and then select Unlock with Apple Watch. You will need to be running iOS 14.5 or later on your iPhone and watch OS 7.4 or later for your Apple Watch. Now, for me, this feature has worked great, but for those who are having issues, there are a few things you can try to get things resolved before having to contact Apple. The first thing you can do is check and see if your watch is communicating with your iPhone. You can easily check and see if it's connected by swiping up from the bottom to bring up Control Center, and then check to see if there's a green icon in the top left corner. If it's a red phone with a line through it, this means you are actually disconnected from your iPhone via your Apple Watch. So check Bluetooth settings on your phone to see if your watch is in fact connected via Bluetooth. The next thing you can try is turning off unlock with iPhone on your Apple Watch. Go to settings, passcode, and then unlock with iPhone. Some users have found that disabling this feature then restarting both devices makes unlock with Apple Watch work on your iPhone. Of course, this is kind of a workaround rather than a fix because you are turning off one useful feature to resurrect another, and so you'll have to weigh up whether or not that compromise is worth it in this particular case. The next thing you can do is the old turn it off, turn it back on again method. This time heading into settings in the watch app on your iPhone and select passcode and then turn passcode off. Once you've confirmed your current password and turn it off, reboot both devices, and then re-enable the passcode setting. Since Unlock with Apple Watch relies on Face ID detecting a mask on your face, it's actually worth resetting Face ID as another method to help fix this issue. Open the Settings app on your iPhone, select Face ID and Passcode, enter your passcode, and then tap Reset Face ID. You can also try making sure wrist detection is in fact enabled as it is required for this feature to work. So once again, head into the watch app on your iPhone and then in the watch tab, select passcode and ensure wrist detection switch is on the green position. The last thing you'll need to try before contacting Apple is to unpair and then repair your Apple Watch. Unpairing your Apple Watch from your iPhone has worked for some people suffering from this issue. It does take a bit of time, but if you miss the unlock with iPhone feature on your Apple Watch, then it's probably going to be worth resetting your watch as a last ditch effort. To do this, open the watch app on your iPhone and then in the My Watch tab, select all watches, then tap the info button on your corresponding Apple Watch that you wanna unpair and then unpair the Apple Watch. Once everything has been reset, simply follow the on-screen instructions in order to repair your watch to your phone. And that's it. Hopefully one of these methods worked out. If for some reason nothing has worked, just contact Apple and hopefully they can help. Uh, but if there's a different method that we didn't mention that worked better for you, please let us know in those comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.